Uh, my name is Kavita Sidhu. Um, I'm a Malaysian. I live in Malaysia, but I was born in the UK. Um, and currently, I'm a, a TV and film producer, actress, and also fashion designer. It was never my thing to be a model, but because when I was 15, I was already 178 centimeters, and I had modeling agencies approach me and they asked me if I wanted to model, so I just did it for the fun of it. When I started modeling, I think one of the, uh, the big things was to, to go to Paris to do the um, haute couture. I had an opportunity to go to Paris for a shoot for a local Singapore magazine. And when I was there, I called up the modeling agencies and I actually went to meet them. It's very different now for girls, I think, because they have a, 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 an easier opportunity. Maybe there's more competition, but it's so easy for agencies to hook them up internationally. Everyone is so much more connected. But at that time, when I was starting out, it was not like that. You had to make it happen for yourself. It was such a crazy experience. I loved it, but there's so much of pressure um, in terms of looking a certain weight. They were so precise. My agency would measure us every day, all the models. You cannot even put on half an inch. So that, that was uh, difficult for me, I think. My family really supported me. Both my parents are doctors. Um, they, they, education is very important for them, and if I believe that as well. So, but you know, modeling is such that you can't do it after you're a certain age. So they understood that. And uh, in fact, today my dad looks back and he says, I don't know how we agreed to send you, but I was getting a lot of work here, I think, in Malaysia. And so there was a lot of attention and a lot of people were telling them that I should use this opportunity, so. But I also think that my family looked at it as, as a, a learning experience. The fact that I was 18 and I was so determined and I wanted to travel on my own and they thought to themselves, this is, this is a good life experience. This whole modeling experience of my life, um, I did not realize it then, but it took away a lot of um, the spontaneity of my youth, of doing things uh, what my other friends at my age were doing, that I wasn't doing that, and I was working, and I was in such a high pressure uh, environment, because at the end of the day, I was, they paid me good money to perform, and I had to. So um, then I took a break from that, and I think that now, um, what, what it has taught me then is that I'm able to cope with situations so much more. I'm so much more calmer. Like I had the pressure early on in my life, in my teens and my 20s. And so when I be went into my 30s, I could handle any situation. I decided to come back uh, from Paris to finish my university. I think that was really important to me. and I. I took modeling very seriously, but I knew that that was never going to be my end career. Ever since I was 15, I was studying at the same time, so I, I kind of wanted a break. Um, and my parents, of course, were happy and they're like, do whatever you want to do. So I, I did that, but I still missed it a lot. One of my friends said, would you like to act in my drama? And I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't act. And he goes, no, just play a model. I said, okay, so that's how it started. And then I love acting. I took it much more seriously. I went to London to do an acting course. Um, it is a completely different industry compared to modelling and fashion. Uh, as a model, it was very easy for me, I feel, to, to do what I needed to do. But in acting, it was uh, so much more challenging and it is so exciting for me. Um, so then I just, you know, in life, I think you meet really great mentors. Um, so I, I met this lady and she's a film director and she took me under her wing because I always want to learn, always especially with, from older people, people with experience and so that's how it is. So I, became, I did a lot of um, films with her, TV and then a producer and, and then I decided to start fashion designing. I was exposed to fashion um, obviously ever since I was 13 and already I was making Clothes like I take my mom's beautiful silk, silk saris from India, and I would make dresses from it. But I never realized that this is what I was going to do. Um, up until I would say maybe ten years ago, 
um, I started having this desire. I said, I really want to make my, own, my design my own collection. I have no experience at all in fashion designing in terms of technical experience, um, but I decided to just jump into it. I really knew kind of the, the, the kind of uh, designs that I love, the dresses that I love to wear, and that's something that I always say, I will only make something that I would really want to wear. And I had a very good response from it. Uh, the customers love it, I started selling it. So now it's become a, a real business for me. Um, there's so much that I need to learn as well. So um, I, I do a lot of research on designers, on um, design elements. I just do a lot of work and I absolutely, I just love it. I never like to listen to excuses. People say, oh, it's really tough. Of course it's tough. Any business is tough, you know, but any successful person is just how much passion they have in it and how much they are willing to put in it and how much uh, they want to learn how to, to, to get it right. I'm really focused right now on, on fashion designing and, and that part of the business side of it as well. It's exciting, not just the creative side. I, I love that, to be able to, do, to, to have my company grow and become an international brand for sure. And at the same time, um, also focus on, on producing some great films with my partner. Um, that Films that can make a difference, um, that can represent this part of the world, Malaysia. That's something that we're all very passionate about. So I love to do both, which is kind of what I'm doing now. That would be great, I think. But if I had to give it up, if I choose one, it would be fashion design because I can do it on my own. Put me anywhere and I have the, the confidence to be able to, to do it, I think.